In this video, I'll share how my husband and I and my father-in-law made a bed platform for our 2005 Honda CRV. Here's a list of the products we used to build the bed platform. You can check out my description below for more details. The three quarter inch plywood sheet was cut in half. Here my father-in-law is making notches in the corner to test the fit into the car. After testing out the fit of the two boards, the guys realized they needed to make more adjustments for the wheel wells, as well as two notches for the top board to prevent rubbing when the door was closed. Here a notch was cut into the top board on both sides and then sanded to fit around the wheel well. The two by fours were then cut and sanded for the support legs for the platform. Two boards were screwed together to become the middle support legs, which have a lip so that in full bed mode the front board will rest on it. Since the front boards will rest on the back seats in the down position, here the guys were leveling up the platform while testing the support 2x4s. Meanwhile, I cut the indoor-outdoor carpet and then sprayed the glue on. After the carpet was attached to the boards, the edges were turned and stapled at the bottom. The ceiling hooks were attached to the supports and the hook and eye turnbuckles were attached and secured on the floor utilizing D-rings already built into the car. Finally, the platform is put into place and leveled up for the last time. The front seats need to be pushed forward for the platform to be a full six feet long. The holes are drilled for the bolts to drop into to hold the support leg boards in place. To take down the bed platform to drive, the drop pins are removed. Then the front board is placed on top of the back board. Most of the time though, we don't want to tear down the bed each night while traveling, so we just slide the front board enough to pull the front seats back to drive. Then the sleeping bag and mattress can stay in place. The below storage area is so perfect for protecting our gear from theft. We can stuff a lot of stuff down there. There's so much room in there that we have four tubs for camping gear and food. I can easily fit camping chairs, camera bag, and tripod as well. Here's a little tour of the bed setup during a recent camping trip. I wish I had taken better video clips. In this side view, you'll see lots of space above the seats under the platform. We use packing cubes for our clothes to utilize the space there. And on the floor, we put our shoes and other junk. We're pretty happy with this setup. It's very comfortable for camping and we've done multiple trips now with it. And with the window coverings and the blackout curtain, it really keeps the light out so we get a pretty good night's sleep. If you're deciding if you want to build a platform for your car, I hope you found this uh, video very helpful. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure and answer.